guys, Grace Kane here. Welcome to my channel, and this is the very first ever episode of Fishing with Grace. Now this is going to be a nice little series to talk about things that I want to talk about. I don't know if uh, if I'll continue to do this after this series or episode or not. I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think down below. So today I want to talk about the cash shop and this in-game cash shop. Uh, there's a heated discussion right now going on on the Steam discussion pages where people are upset about the cash shop. Now, I can understand that they're upset. I mean, there's no mention of a cash shop within the purchasing of the game. You have to, right when you purchase the game, you get in, you go, wait, there's a cash shop. Why do I feel like I've been chipped and I wasn't told about the cash shop? And I can kind of understand that, okay? But. On the other hand, there was a very long discussion on the actual islands forums over the past year about how to continue to fund, fund development and stuff like that, and the developers came up with the cash shop. And basically everybody on the islands forums that was involved in development said, hey look, pretty much if, as long as it doesn't affect gameplay and it's just cosmetic items, really no big deal, then why not? I mean, you gotta fund, fund development somehow. And this right here is just my opinion as far as the cash shop goes. Uh, you know, the developers decided to give this game to us at for 15 bucks, okay? 15 bucks, and now right now it's on sale if you hurry for $12. So they decided to give us a $12 game instead of a $40 game to make it more available to, to, to people, you know? Because they wanted to, to focus this particular game around families. Uh, they want to have a game where a father and son, who had left, maybe a younger son or a daughter, could get on, they could build a little house together, and it makes it more affordable for families to would like to purchase more than one copy. So let's say you know you want to further help development, so you decided to put, put in a couple extra bucks into the cash shop, which is perfectly fine. Uh, or if you decide you don't want to spend money on development, 12 bucks, that's all you ever have to spend as far as development costs, as far as your con contribution to development. Uh, when you first buy the game, and I'm going to open the cash shop here, I'm catching crazy fish, open the cash shop here. Uh, when you first buy the game, uh, if you buy it for 12 or 15 bucks, you actually get currency. You'll get free currency called coins. And I think the currency reflects on the dollars that you already spent to purchase the game. So I want to say you get 32 for spending 12 or 38 for spending 15. If I'm not mistaken, this is just what I'm gathering from in the forums. Uh, this is the 8,800 coins that I have. Uh, that They were there when I opened the Steam game. I don't know if I was just awarded those for helping out or whatever or being a early early accessor anyway no big deal so anyway you could choose to buy you could choose not to buy it's no big deal so let's take a look at a couple of the items uh actually you get a lot of these items for free or at least i did uh zero it, i'll know all this says purchase uh, right here it says purchased but I, I don't think i purchased any of these because I really don't have to. I mean, it is what it is. I still got my 8,800 coins. I did purchase one thing, uh, one emote, I think, just because I wanted to see how the purchasing thing went. And I think I purchased this one. You had a joy emote, it's 400 coins, and I did purchase that one. You get this one for free, zero. So you get a lot of emotes for, I mean, a lot of emotes, a lot of skins for free i like this little sword one you get that one for free and if you there's anything down here that you just have to have you you're awarded you know 32 33 000 coins to buy whatever you have to have and you no longer have to spend money or you can save it for decorations that are coming out or other avatars or pets so basically guys the way i look at it is developers had to come up with a way to generate funds for future for future games and they said they will not do DLCs so they're not doing DLCs and they're giving us a free I don't say a free game but they're giving us a pretty decent game for a very very low price and you don't have to spend another dollar if you don't want to so that's basically how I am looking at this I, I don't really have a problem with it but if you guys do you're totally uh, you're totally entitled to your uh, opinion, and uh, I wish everybody luck, and this is Grace Kane, and I'll talk to you guys later.